Hi, this is Craig Delger with Prolight Gear. In this video, I'm going to explore two myths around recharging iPhones that I found on the internet. Um, and I'm going to use a simple piece of test equipment called an inline power meter to explore why these uh, uh, statements that I found on the internet aren't, aren't correct. I'm in the process of reviewing several different uh, portable electronics products, including things like solar power chargers and uh, portable batteries that have USB outputs for uh, recharging uh, devices. Um, with iPhones and iPads, the chargers that are included, I have some of them in front of me. You can either get the 1 amp version or the 2 amp version. The 2 amp version comes with the iPad, the 1 amp version comes with your iPhones. And I've tested this on iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, and iPhone 6. Um, these are both 5 volt devices. So this is a 5 watt device, this is a 10 watt device. Um, and the statement is that by using a more powerful charger, you can recharge your cell phone faster. So that's one statement that's being made out there. And the other statement is that by using a more powerful charger, you're going to somehow damage or ruin uh, your cell phone, either burn it up or ruin the battery. Uh, both of those are incorrect statements. Uh, the Apple engineers say they're incorrect, and I'll show a graphic from uh, Apple's website that shows that, um, in, according to Apple, this device is compatible with the iPhones. Uh, but I'm also going to show up some graphic, uh, I'm going to put some graphics up that show this inline power meter being hooked up to my iPhone 5 uh, with the standard 1 amp charger and you'll see uh, the uh, power that it's drawing. And then I'll swap that out and plug it up to a two amp charger and you'll see that it's actually drawing no additional power. Now just to verify that uh, things are on the up and up here, I'll plug my iPad into a one amp charger and then I'll plug my iPad, by the way that's an iPad 2, and I'll plug it into a 2 amp charger and you'll see that the iPad can draw more current out of the 2 amp charger than an iPhone can. So why is that? Well let's look into what these devices are. These devices, even though they're called chargers, I think a more accurate uh, way to describe them is as a DC power supply. Uh, and I'll put up some specs or at least I'll put them in the uh, article that I write for this where I show you the USB specs in terms of uh, their uh, power output and their wiring diagrams. Um, but uh, we know that watts equals amps times volts. So this is a 5 watt device. This is a 10 watt device. But there's no charging circuitry included in these. And here's a device I have from Verizon. That is different than a device like this. Uh, this is a, a battery charger that I use for recharging my BMW motorcycle. And I've got another one of these that's used for recharging my automobiles. Um, these have recharging circuitry built into them. If you look at what's going on when you're recharging these, there's the power source, there's the recharging circuitry, and there's the battery that's being recharged. In order to determine you know, whether you can do this or not, you need to figure out if that recharging circuitry is included in the device or in the uh, piece of equipment that's supplying the power to recharge the device. With things like iPhones and iPads, the, the circuitry that controls the recharging process is in the device itself. As such, they will not allow it to draw more power or more current than it can handle, even if there's more current available. So that's why when I plug this 2 amp device up to an iPhone, it still doesn't draw any more power than what the 1 amp device can send out. Now, what's different about that is that if you plug your recharging cable into a standard USB port on a computer, that's only a 0.5 amp output. So it's going to draw as much electricity as it can, but because of the standard USB port on a computer does not put out as much current as this does, it's not going to charge as fast. Um, the other thing I looked at was by putting a more powerful power source to the iPhone to recharge it, am I somehow heating it up? And for that I used an infrared, thermo, uh, an infrared thermometer and just kept measuring the temperature, the uh, external temperature on this uh, device when I had it hooked up to the 1 amp device and the 2 amp device and it made no difference. So in terms of the two questions that are debated on these internet forums, uh, can you charge your device faster by using a more powerful uh, power supply? 
The answer is no. And can you recharge your device or can you damage or ruin your device in some way by using a more powerful 2 amp recharging device? And my answer is no. Unless there's something wrong with your device, the cable, or the charger. Now, when you debate these on these internet forums, they quickly um, uh, erode into name calling. But uh, I think I've demonstrated just with this simple piece of equipment that it doesn't make a difference to your device if you supply more power than what it can handle. The circuitry inside the device just won't allow that extra current into the device to recharge. It won't draw in, it won't draw more power than it can handle. So by using a less powerful charger, you can slow down the rate at which this uh, device is recharged, but by doing, uh, by using a more powerful charger, you're not going to damage your device, but you're also not going to charge it any faster. This is going to come into play later on when I review the uh, Sunjack uh, equipment. They have a very nice portable uh, power pack, a portable battery. It's an 8,000 milliamp battery and it's got both a 1 amp output and a 2 amp output. And so I wanted to cover this topic quickly before I go into this product um, just so that I avoid any confusion or debate uh, on uh, whether you can use a 2 amp device to charge something like an iPhone. As always, thank you for watching the videos, thank you for sharing, and thank you for subscribing to the channel. I'm going to get these other reviews on uh, uh, portable electronics up just as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.